Hi everybody. I have a dream to share with you. Uh, over the days that I have been sick and, and prior to uh, being getting sick, uh, I was fasting, and um, during during this time, I've been spending a lot of time, you know, praying. Uh, I've been having a lot of dreams, uh, messages from the Lord, and the one that I need to share is the one uh, that the Lord has really been putting on my heart, and it's about uh, the demons being released. Okay, the demons for, from the from the dream that I had, and I also during a um, during deliverance, I also had a uh, similar experience to this. Um, during this dream, okay, there was um, all of a sudden there's like uh, an opening, an opening in the ground, and it's just like around circle uh, um, in the ground and all of a sudden I start seeing all this smoke and fire and the first thing that came to my mind was lava and all this smoke is is coming out and then just like shoot I I'd see like these red like um almost like a coal when a coal pops when you're you're barbecuing like it pop but this was like red things just coming out of there and you can hear the groaning and the growling and it was real demonic and I didn't want to get close to it but I'm, I'm getting closer to it and I'm looking and I could see these things crawling and, and clawing and coming up on these sides and they were jumping back and forth up this up this tunnel to get from one side to another going back and forth trying to get their way up and as they're starting to come up I'm starting to get back further well they're there as they're coming out there's still these things that are and, and and these these things that were coming out were flying out these were demons that were flying out I'm, I'm standing there and I'm looking at it and, and I could just see these just shooting out and then the other ones are clawing their way up coming out I, I, I was horrified to see this and um, as I, I'm looking up in the sky it was the, the sky was dark it was it was well, it was kind of grayish dark like and I could see these these demons they were they were like like flaming like like fire they were like up and they were like shooting in, in different directions and and then these things were crawling up and they were like slithering and just clawing and there were so many of them almost as if it, it reminded me like a, an ant hole uh, like like an ant when they all start coming out they're all just that's what it reminded me of and then I woke up and during prayer I'm seeking, you know, seeking uh, the Lord in prayer and Holy Lord. Um, the message that I got from this dream, and I normally, uh, I, I, I'm, you know, normally I, I get confirmation and everything. Um, when I was in in del in deliverance, when I went through deliverance, um, I I had the same experience as what I had seen but this was a, a physical actual thing that I, I was in in the presence when I was I, I went through deliverance and I was in in bed and I'm, I'm sleeping I'm laying down and my I was sleeping on my stomach and all of a sudden because when when the enemy leaves when, when you go through deliverance and these demons leave they try to come back and they try to come back full force well as I'm sleeping I'm laying on my stomach I see this hole all of a sudden over my bed just this hole and these demons were jumping back and forth but the, it, in, this is not how they looked when this time 
they didn't look like what I had seen in my deliverance. In my deliverance, they were buffalo. They were half buffalo, half human. They had a tail of like a lion. These things were jumping back and forth doing the same thing as looking down. I'm looking down at them. And there was a, a, a man of God who uh, was part of the deliverance. He was in this, like this pit when I'm, I'm looking down. But he's not touching the wall. He's not standing on solid ground. He's suspended in midair. And he has his hands like this. And he's looking up. I could see him looking, but he wasn't looking at me. He was looking past me. And he had his hands up and he was just praying and praying and praying. And his eyes were just looking up. Like he was looking up to the Lord. And he was just praying. And these things are jumping and they're hanging on his feet. They grab his feet. Like I said, he was suspended in midair. They're hanging on his feet. And these things were so, they were so angry because this man is very powerful in deliverance. Uh, there always has to be a male figure in, in deliverance. So he, he was the only male and he was under a lot of attack because these things were very angry with him. So uh, when they were hanging on his feet, and he, I started laughing because they were like jumping back and forth. And I, I, I knew I was released of them. I knew I was released. I started laughing. I was laughing at them because they just, they were just like, they were making these weird noises and stuff. And I just laughed. And it seemed like the more I laughed, the, the further they'd go back down. They would, they would start like, they, they were losing their grip, their power. And all of a sudden, the the this the man of God that was in my deliverance, when I'm lo I lo I'm looking at him, he shoots right past me, and and these things you know release of him they couldn't hold on to him. This dream that I had this this recent one was similar to that. So this is my my confirmation to me sharing this to you because what when i when i spend my time with the lord i i get the message from the lord that these things are being released and and there's going to be this is this is me saying this as i receive it in my spirit okay as i pray and spend my time with the lord there's going to be more there's going to be more perfect possessions there's going to be more people that are going to be more um, demonically possessed. You're going to start hearing, you're going to hear it in the news. And it's going to be more widespread because these things have been released. And there was so many of them. There were so many of them that these things filled the sky. That like when you look up like that, you could see, I could see beyond them and I could see the gray, the gray sky. But there was just so many of them and so many of them like ants coming out on the ground. So if you have not been saved, please give your life to the Lord. Give your life to the Lord. Email me, e email uh, Pastor JC at SLW at gmail.com. Uh, if you have not been saved, let us pray with you, okay? Because this is really not the time to be uncovered. We all have to be covered by the blood of Jesus. We have to put on that armor. That armor is a weapon. We have to learn the word. We have to study the word. We have to memorize scripture because that is our weapon. The weapon is very powerful and we have to be protected by our with our armor and being covered by the blood of Jesus as we go into battle. Amen. It's going to get it's going to get bad. Uh just you know, uh, I, I I don't know how else to, to share this with you. And I'm, I'm not trying to be a fear monger. I'm not trying to put fear in you. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm just sharing with you some, some information that will help you keep yourself protected. Stay in prayer. And they, they are, I'm telling you, what's going on in the Middle East is only the beginning. It's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. We have to pray for Jerusalem. We have to pray for 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 God's people. Okay? We have to 
God loves all his children. He he does. He loves all his children. So please, I, I pray that that you pray for Israel. Keep them in your prayers. Uh, I, I love each and every one of you. Join us tonight as we have our show on blogtalkradio.com forward slash times of refreshing. Okay, I love you guys. Bye-bye.